we were passing by each other in a hallway and you and you looked at me and went, are we gonna do this together? Hey, I think you're gonna I think you're gonna be my son. Are you gonna be my son? I'd love to start with you, Michelle. What was it about this story that, that really hooked you? I just thought it was a an amazing story and um and quite different to most uh crime dramas as it sort of focuses more on the effects it has on the family, um, which really interests, you know, that, that certainly was an interest for me. I swear I didn't do it. We believe you. Yeah, uh, I got involved um, while Chris and I were doing Knives Out actually. Um, and I auditioned for it a few times. And um, eventually I, we found out that I was gonna be doing it while we were shooting. And then I met with Morn and Mark and I was just drawn to, to Jacob because he was, he felt like such a normal teenager, but he obviously was very layered and um, and very mysterious to the audience. And just because you never are able to get inside his head and you're, I mean, you're never able to, to fully know whether he did or not, just like his parents. So I think that's why I was kind of attracted to him just because he's so internal rather than it being so, um, explanatory what he's thinking what he's feeling there's got to be an explanation they go to the same school jacob's in his class yes we know that lynn have you arrested my son you know it was it was mostly mark and morton i mean i love the writing as well but but uh you know mark and morton has such clear vision and 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 you know morton would be directing all eight episodes and that's that's really important to me having you know a singular voice the kind of unity of a vision and and mark is uh so clever and, and his writing is uh, so accessible and it's it's uh you know the, the, the scenes just flow so well uh, out of his brain um so yeah for me it was just uh, a couple of guys that i really wanted to collaborate with yeah and Jaden, you mentioned finding out that you were going to work on this in the same time that you guys were on set of knives out how tell me about how you how you guys found out that you were going to be doing this next project together what, what was that like well i had known um that he was a part of it obviously um i'm not sure when you found out but you, I remember we were shooting together. We were passing by each other in a hallway, and you, and you looked at me and, went, "Are we going to do this together?" Hey, I think you're going to. I think you're going to be my son. Are you going to be my son? Yeah. So that was funny. They they had sent me a group of uh, auditions, about five auditions for actors they were considering for Jacob, and uh, the first one I watched was Jaden's, um, and I actually didn't recall the scene, um, you know, off the top of my head. So I was watching the scene, and I thought, "Oh wow, he." He improvised the scene. Good for him. That takes courage. Um, and then I watched the next kid, and it was the same dialogue. And I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Was that scripted? Did that scene that I just watched Jaden do, was that actually written? And I went back and watched it and said, holy sh**. This kid made me think he went off page. He's that natural, that effortless. And it really was, uh, at that point, just a no-brainer. He was a guy. What was it about that theme of, of family and sort of those different layers that, that intrigued you guys and you guys wanted to explore? I, I think it starts with trust and can you ever really know anybody, but I think the downstream impact is a little more interesting to me because once, once you are confronted with the realization that someone is not who they presented, when it's your family, when it's your blood, it's someone that you've invested time and, and, and love into and your, your identity has become entangled with this idea of who they are. Uh, once you're kind of confronted with that truth, it's a matter of can you compartmentalize that realization in order to, to keep this idea intact. Yeah, and uh, they they differ in their journey so much. You know, Andy and Laurie, they, um, it's something that really uh, is, is so much of the struggle for her is the guilt that she, um, that she carries that, you know, is this, if this is true, is this my fault? Is did I do something wrong? She kind of goes through uh, such struggles with with that. She almost feels Joan Rifkin's pain. You know, the mother that has lost her own son, and um, if her son is, you know, is guilty, you know, she kind of carries all of that. Yeah, for me, it was just figuring out who he was and uh, sort of using my imagination, figuring out exactly what happened that day, just to give myself a, a background story and um, just something to keep me grounded throughout the whole thing because because the process was so long and I mean, it was essentially like shooting an eight hour long movie. It was easy to forget where we were as characters, I feel like. 
uh, basically when I, uh, I first met with Mark and Morton, I asked whether he did it or not. And he said, Mark Morton said that I was able to decide if he did it. He said he didn't want to know and I, I shouldn't tell anybody. I just had to figure that out and, um, you know, figure out who this character was throughout the process. Thank <laughs> you.